four subjects to wealth. There's not a day that people don't ask me, how do I become wealthy? In order for you to become wealthy, you have to study the right subjects to eventually become wealthy. You see all these books behind me? I have spent over two decades to study and eventually zero down the right subjects that can position me to become wealthy. Now, uh, let me explain to you. Hey, reading Fifty Shades of Grey ain't gonna do you no good. Reading Twilight Light is not gonna make you a lot of money. So studying the right subjects matters. So let me share with you, there are four subjects. Every single one of you need to study, need to immerse in, need to master, and ultimately, you have a chance to become wealthy. So here are the four subjects. I recommend every single one of my audience to immerse in and to study deeply. The first subject is the subject of sales. You know, a lot of people say, well, I don't like to sales. I don't, I don't like sales. I don't want to sell to anybody. I'm not that kind of person. Well, you have to understand living in this world today. As long as you are alive, you are selling every single day. Let me explain to you what I mean by that. For instance, your kids are selling you every single day, right? Your little baby wakes up in the morning, about to go to school, and walk up to you and say, Hey, Daddy, 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 I love you so much. I love you to the moon and back. Can I have a piece of chocolate? Guess what your kid is doing to you? He is trying to sell you the fact that you have a soft heart and say yes to him. That's a form of selling. You work for a boss, you work for a company, you've been there for five years, but you want to convince and persuade your boss to give you a bigger raise than the guy who's been here for the last 10 years. And you'll be walking up to your boss and say, look, I even though I've been here shorter than this guy that's been here for 10 years, I've only been here for five, but I added so much more value to grow your company. And your company grew another 30% since you assigned me to this particular project. What are you doing? You are selling to your boss. Right? You're trying to sell to your uh, future father-in-law why he should let his daughter marry you. That's a form of selling. right? So every single day, believe it or not, we are selling something. If you don't master the art of selling, you are not going to be able to get what you want. So subject number one, learn how to sell. When I'm talking about selling, I'm not talking about manipulating. There's a big difference between selling and manipulating. Manip manipulating is really, really kind of like uh, not being authentic, not being honest, but still try to get what you want. Selling is simply presenting the facts, adding value, persuading people why they need your service and product right now, rather than procrastinate and delay to another day. Does it make sense for you? Subject number two that I believe that you need to be studying and master one day is the subject of finance. Because at the end of everything is not about how much money you make. You know, a lot of people think that making a lot of money will help you become wealthy. True, you need to learn how to sell and increase your cash flow. But ultimately, you know, some of these books I read taught me about stay lean and mean for the first five years. Even you make $100,000 a year, quarter million a year, half million a year. Don't change your lifestyle. Live below your mean. Don't show off, but show up. All right? Hustle. Work dark to dark. You know, don't buy anything that, you know, you simply want. You only should buy stuff that you need, but not what you want. And spending most of those money and reserve it into your account. And ultimately, you have money to reinvest back to your business. And hopefully one day you can invest into financial vehicle that can multiply money for you. You want to get to level one day, you have money multiplying for you. You got to have income and you got to have investment. So study any books that teach you how to multiply your money. And that's the subject of finance. Another subject, third subject you need to study and master is the subject of negotiation, right? Everything boils down to negotiating. You know, getting what you want is not always simply the first proposal or the first conversation or the first sales pitch or the first... Uh, a presentation. It, it, it doesn't work like that. Your ability to negotiate back and forth and come to a common ground where your uh, perspective uh, buyer or uh, your client or your partner or the people that you're leading and the people you're working with or even your boss, 
you got to come to a conclusion where it's a win-win situation. It's not a win-lose situation or a win-lose situation. The power of negotiating is everything. So spend a lot of time studying how to negotiate and negotiate in a humble way. Negotiate in a way where people feel good about what you're asking without demanding stuff that based on entitlement. And the last subject, I think the most important subject that will ultimately get you to a level where wealth can become your middle name is the subject of human nature. What does that mean? That means your ability to read people who's who that you're working with, who's who is in your inner circle, who's who that is really, really reporting directly to you is everything. Your ability to study human nature will separate yourself of being the 1% than the rest of the 99% of the people trying to build a business, right? Understand, when you are a boss, when you are an entrepreneur, when you are a runner, when you are a front runner, okay? When you when you are a leader of the pack, guess what? Everybody that you are trying to work with, they're going to come up to you and try to do what? They try to compliment you. They want to compliment you. The reason why people want to compliment you, first of all, is because they also want to get what they want. It's because they're afraid to get fired. It's also because of your position. Maybe sometimes as a leader that's higher ranking than they do, they have to say something that's unauthentic, but they still have to say it to make sure you like them, right? Your ability to read who is fake, who is authentic, who is value-driven, and who is simply wanting to get something out of you is everything. I had to learn that for the last 27 years being an entrepreneur. I have to be able to pick and fire, fire and repay, repay, re-elevate, re-elevate, re-promote. All those things that I have to learn. And that boils down to your ability to study human natures and understand who's who. And still be able to handle different personalities. All right? Spend the next five years to pick up every single book that's available on sales, human nature, finance, and negotiation and start to immerse yourself in it. And eventually one day, you'll become an autodidact, meaning you'll be able to learn on your own through experience, through the journey that you are on, through the career that you pick, through the people that's working around you. So with the books you read and plus the personal experience, you add those two get together, that equals what? Wealth. I hope you guys enjoy the message of today. And again, uh, thank you for all of your support and love. Definitely love to see your comment about what you think of today's message. Uh, share this video to anyone that you know can benefit out of it or anyone who wants to become wealthy one day. All right, and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, click the link below and subscribe it today. Take care, JW here, see you next time. JW here, if you like my content, comment below and download my JW Just Win app. See you next time.